The directive to haul all cargo destined for Uganda, Rwanda and South Sudan to the Naivasha Inland Container Depot commenced Tuesday despite protests by leaders, truckers and other key stakeholders. Transport and Infrastructure Cabinet Secretary James Masharia backs the move to expand business opportunities within the Naivasha ICD with the setting up of a special economic zone. Anywhere you go today, it's not about putting together a standalone industrial zone. It's a question of having a very broad-based special economic zone which can take into account all businesses, all sectors. The standard gauge rail was still struggling to attract business and break even. Masharia backs Naivasha ICT to boost business for Kenya Railways. In about 12 months, you would have the railway from here all the way to Logono Station, then Logono Station all the way to Malaba. This is what you create through seamless connectivity of rail from the port of Mombasa to Malaba port. This is what you make sure that in future you don't have like what we have today at Malaba. Trucks queuing at a length of about 60 kilometers. This is what you solve that problem. Since completion of the SGR project from Mombasa to Naivasha last year, cargo movement from Mombasa to Malaba by rail has reduced to 10 hours from 48 hours. Already the government has earmarked 3.5 billion shillings to upgrade the Naivasha Malaba old meter gauge railway. However, plans to construct a new meter gauge railway line from Maimahi Station to Longonat Station is underway with the design complete and is expected to commence in 12 months. This station will be taking at least four trains per day. Four trains per day. With a total annual tonnage of about two million. That way then we have a proper business case to make sure that indeed this investment it was worth it. Going forward, local trackers want the government to protect them from harassment by neighboring officials as well as increase efficiency at the Naivasha depot to avoid delays. Kienda India, Uganda. Wanachukulia kwamba wao ndo wamefanya nini? Wamebeba hii corona kwa mfuko kutoka Kenya kuwapelekea. Wanakuja ukiwa unapiga pale chakula chako, wanakunyang'anya. Na huwezi kusema lolote. Regina Manyara reporting for Channel 1 Business.